Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part five of our series of session on interest calculation feature. In this session, we will understand various configurations related to interest parameter, specifically on the rate of interest, the periodicity of interest, and also the type of balance on which the interest needs to be calculated. So once we understand this, then we will understand another option under interest parameter, which says override advanced interest parameter. So in this session, we will see the simple configuration related to the interest parameter rate and periodicity. Let us go to tally and let us explore these options and understand them better. Let us now explore the interest rate and the interest periodicity configurations. For this, let us take the example of our loan account. I have selected the HDFC secured loan account. So let us go to the interest calculation option, enter. And here, what we have been seeing is the, again, the interest parameter under the advanced feature. So first let us go to the simple interest parameter with relation to the rate of interest and the periodicity. So how do we convert this into a simple interest parameter? So remember your secret number two, press F12 configure. And if you notice here, it says use advanced interest parameters. So you make this as no, press enter and now what we are seeing here is the simple interest parameter. So the rate of interest and the periodicity. In this session, let us understand the rate field and the period field. So I come here, the rate of interest of 12% we are applying for the current year. By setting this rate of 12% for the calendar year, what is the interest amount that is calculated? Let us go and see. So before that, when I press enter here, we have this four different interest styles. So it is basically the periodicity. Let us quickly understand what is the difference between 365 day year and the calendar year. So if you select calendar year, the year where you have leap year, we know that there are 366 days. So if you select calendar year, whichever year falls under the leap year, tally will calculate interest considering the year with 366 days. If you select this option 365 day year, irrespective of the leap year, tally will always calculate interest considering 365 day a year. So we will select calendar year and then we will see what is the impact. So I'm going to accept this enter and now save this changes that we have done in the interest calculation by pressing control a based on the interest parameter that we have set tally is now calculated or compute the interest at the rate of 12 as per the calendar year so we notice here this is the rate of interest that it is calculated starting from the beginning of the financial year till the 30th of november if you recall we had set in one of the earlier session that interest need to be calculated only till 30th of November. So till 30th of November at the rate of 12%, this is what is the interest amount that is calculated. And the configuration we will see down here, the configuration that just now we had set it up. Let us now go and change this interest rate and the interest style and then see what is the difference between the amount of interest that tally computes based on this different interest styles. And now we will change the option. Let's say I want to charge interest on a monthly basis. So I'm going to say 1% interest. Now instead of calendar year, let us say that I'm going to say calendar month. So it is the same logic. When I say calendar month, whichever month has got 31 days, 30 days, 28 days or 29 days, based on those month tally will consider the number of days for that month as per the calendar month so let us take the calendar month and then see what is the interest amount that tally is calculated select calendar month you will now notice 
that even though the total number of days it is calculated as 30, 31 as per the previous configuration that we have seen, but you will notice here the rate of interest that we have set is 1% and the interest needs to be calculated as per the calendar month. So you will see the interest amount being calculated as per the calendar month here. Let us now go and change the interest style to 30 day a month and then we will see what is the impact on the interest amount. And now let us come here and then set it as 30 day a month. So we are going to select 30 day a month, save this option. If you notice now, the 30 day a month, the rate of interest that is calculated as per the calendar month and the 30 day a month interest style, the amount remains the same. But now when you come down to the month of May and if you see here, there are 31 days, whereas we have ask tally to consider this as calendar month. So you will see the difference in the interest amount that is calculated for all the month where you have that one extra day. So 1881 here, 1509 and again you will see here 1323 whereas the amount that we are seeing down here if you see the same interest calculation as per the calendar month parameter will give you the difference in the calculation between 30 day a month and 31 day a month which we are seeing at the bottom of the screen. Also if you see now at the bottom this is the interest calculation as per the calendar year. So based on the interest style that you apply and the rate of interest that you apply tally will automatically calculate the interest as per the interest parameter that we have set. In the next session, we will understand little bit about the behavior of the interest balance. Once you set up on all balance, what is the impact, credit balance and the debit balance, the way we understood the interest style parameter through the result of the interest amount that is calculated. I hope this session would have given you a fair idea about the configuration related to the especially the periodicity and also the rate of interest. The way you wanted them to configure, you can configure them. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session with yet another options we will understand. Thank you very much.